Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super duper excited because today I am showing you a brand new wig that I got from Love Me Hair. So I'm actually partnering with them um, on this. So they are sponsoring this video. So thank you Love Me Hair for this great wig. I'm super duper excited to try this because I've been itching to switch up my look a little bit. So I just got this in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. It's honestly looking really, really beat up right now. So I'm gonna unbox it, show you what I got, what it comes with, what you can expect if you were to order this wig. Hopefully it's what you would expect. And then um, I will put it on and show you guys how I install. So let's open it up. I feel like it's Christmas. Oh, this is so cute. Love this. Ooh, so we've got some goodies in here. So this says, enjoy your hair journey. You got this little bag. Mm-hmm. Right, comes with a nice comb, some bobby pins. Lord knows I'm gonna need that. Oh, some twe <laughs> some tweezers. They're trying to literally be my favorite person right now. Like they're giving me all the goods. Hair wax stick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but I think it's like an elastic band just in case one breaks or you need to replace it within the, good thinking. And then of course this lovely, love me hair pin. Mm -hmm. It's not usually my thing to rock one of these, but I just might, just might do it today. Wig cap. Thank you for this. And you didn't charge me an extra dollar like the beauty hair store does. That's what y'all be doing. Also comes with this Love Me Hair informational. So I'm assuming it's like telling me a little bit about how to care for the wig, how to use your wig, FAQs, like what to do with it so that you are fully informed about your product, which I really like and appreciate. I really love, especially when you can't try on the wig or you can't, you just can't like touch it and feel it or really ask questions. They're actually giving you some good information on how to take care of it and what to do to make sure it lasts and that you get your money's worth. So I appreciate that. So let's get to the favorite part. We're gonna take a look at this wig. So I got this bob, got this lace here. Cute color, cute color. It's a little bob with bangs. So that's what we got going on on the inside. Has this nice lace. We have our nice bands in the back. So I usually take it, let me get it set and then I'll show you. So I usually take each one crisscross them to the second to last one on each side. So I'll always just leave like one extra space just in case. This does not have any combs, which I'm not mad at, but I can already tell like this just lace and everything. I'll give you one last look before I put it on. It just looks really comfortable and everything. So I'm really, really excited about it. I am gonna go ahead and get a flat iron fired up because I know I'm gonna have to smooth that out. So now that I got my flat iron going, I'm going to go ahead and braid my hair down. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have, I don't have too much of a rhyme or reason on how I braid my hair like before I put a wig on because I only wear it for that day typically. I don't leave it in for that long. But because it has bangs, I know it's gonna split in the middle so I'm just gonna split my hair down. Have a little healing oil. I'm just gonna braid French braids back. I just do two typically, depending on the day and depending on the occasion. Um, I actually might sew my wig in usually if i'm going out in public or going somewhere that i've never been or the weather's feeling a little frisky that's when i kind of sew it in a little bit so i'm not going to do that today but if you want to see it just let me know i usually just sew it around the perimeter because i'm just going to tell you i don't plan on getting into any altercations or anything like that but it's just one of those things where things happen sometimes and the last thing that i want is this to not be secure so I just try to get my, keep it all together. Don't want nobody catching me slipping. My hair was like up to my 
yeah up to like my chin my jawline a couple years ago I feel like it's really growing mm. progress all right so since they just sent me some bobby pins I can save my own and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two bobby pins Well, this actually comes with two wig caps, so I'm just gonna put this on. Thankfully, I don't have to color it, I don't have to do anything else with it, but I do always leave a little bit of hair out, especially right here. Just in case you choose to pull it back or do something else with it, you just want some of your hair left out. Now, this has bangs, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm a little afraid to look like Dora, I'm not gonna lie, but in the picture, it looked really cute. So we'll see how I look with it, see if I stick with it or not. And you can kind of feel right here where it starts to take a dip where it goes like zoop. that's where you can comfortably put that on either side I know that's where that needs to go in front of my ears so that helps me know where to stop how to shift all of that so I got everything on it feels really good I'm loving the style, it's different, but I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out with my flat iron, see if I can get it as smooth as I can, see if I can play with it a little bit, funk it up, and then, yeah, we'll see what we got going on. when you're itching to cut your hair just get yourself a wig get yourself a wig and I had a really big conference coming up that obviously with everything that's happening couldn't really take place like even though I try to have like somewhat of a consistent style I don't like to switch it up like too much or too often unless I'm going somewhere or you know doing a shoot or something like that other than that, I try to keep pretty consistent. I try not to switch my hair like all the time. Got my braids down, couple braids, bobby pin them, put the wig right on. Like I said, it tells you exactly how it needs to fit. Like you can feel where it needs to be right by the ears. And I just kind of tucked some of it behind my ear if I just want like more of a girl next door, chic, lazy type of look. But when I don't need to leave out, when I'm looking for something new, this is gonna be my bag. You tell me in the comments how I should name her. Every single piece of mine has a name. Uh, but it's super cute, looks so natural, it feels so good, and I was able to use that heat on it. The heat was set at about 395, and it held up just fine, so I know that this is really gonna be cute but thank you so much for tuning in thank you love me hair for this wonderful wig for this piece i absolutely love it it feels amazing if you have any other questions or anything else you want to see leave them in the comments below and i got you thanks for tuning in i will see you all next time bye